20 Fenchurch Street, London is the address to this 37-storey building, which is one of its kind. The building named the Walkie Talkie initially was nicknamed by the locals as the Walkie Scorchy as it was melting everything around it. This even burned out things. It even increased the wind speed around its area. Well, why was this happening? What went fundamentally wrong with this building and what was the science behind this? That is what we are going to see in this episode of Curious DNA. It was a bright, clear summer afternoon on the streets of London in 2013. People were busy walking down the street. It was a very hot day. An engineer parked his van in the parking bay in front of the walkie-talkie building. After some time, when he returned to his van, he found that his van looked a total mess. Every bit of plastic on the sides of the van and the dashboard was melted. Even the bottle which he placed inside the car looked like it was baked. People walking by every day on the streets of Fenchurch started complaining that it is insanely hot only when crossing the skyscraper walkie-talkie. It just burned out the rugs of the bakery located right opposite to the building. It even worn out the tiles on the pavement because of the insane heat that it produced. So how come walkie-talkie became a walkie scorchy? The overall profile of the building is concave shaped one and it is covered with mirrors. We do know that light travels in straight line and when light hits mirror they get reflected and refracted. The profile of the building itself is a concave one and hence all the light falling on the big giant surface of the building is being converged in front of the building. It is not just ordinary light rays, they are sun rays carrying a lot of heat and energy. All the light rays are converged before the big concave building and hence all the heat that comes along with the light rays also get concentrated around the convergence point which is nothing but the roads, buildings and the parking area in front of the building. Now what about the wind speed? How does this building even accelerate the wind speed in the neighborhood. For a minute, let's consider a mountain here. When wind flows and when they are blocked by the mountains, they rise up along the slopey surface of the mountain which guides the wind upwards. But whereas with the walkie-talkie building, it is the opposite. The profile of the building itself is designed in such a way that the slope is facing downwards and the building itself is a concave surface so all the wind that hits the building gets guided downwards and not allowing the wind to rise up and escape. This creates a more windy atmosphere around the neighborhood. That's it for this video. Hope you find it interesting, useful and it satisfied your curiosity. If you like to watch more such curious videos, check out this playlist. If you like to get notified of our videos, do subscribe and hit the bell icon. We'll catch you guys with another interesting topic in another interesting video. Until then, see you guys.